Hello! In the previous two videos we learned how to start the web server on the STM32 Nuclear F767ZI microcontroller and how to use the CGI, the common gateway interface. But there was a shortcoming in our CGI program. After we sent the command to the board to switch on the LED light, the checkbox on the page did not stay checked, even when the light was on. We will address this issue with the help of the SSI, server side includes. I will show you first how the program works correctly with the SSI and afterwards I will explain how it is done in detail. So, we switch the LED, red LED, the red LED is on and the checkbox uh, stay checked. We switch blue, blue is on, it's checked. We switch both, we switch off both, uh, it's uh, checkbox unchecked and the light is off. We switch blue, blue is on, box checked and so on. Red. And now we, we will see how it is done. First of all, we should enable the SSI option in the configurator. We go to configurator. Um, This um, LWAP HTTPD SSI server site includes is enabled. Uh, this also enabled. Uh, these are what my settings. So here we didn't change in general options, we didn't change anything, it stays the same. The, the also very important thing, we have to remake index, uh, rename index HTML to index SHTML, index SHTML in the, fol in the folder FS. And we also uh, to rename um, in our function uh, let CGI handler index HTML into index SHTML because SSI works with uh, this file extension. Afterwards, we are to change this file uh, in the following way as on the screen. I will include this uh, code um, in the article accompanying uh, uh, this video. So what is happening here? We in insert these two tags here. Tag 1 and tag 2. And the, our microcontroller will, will replace, and our web server on the microcontroller will replace these tags dynamically. Uh, um, first of all, we uh, in the code we we also change to uh, ah one more thing. After we change this as index HTML file, we shall um, go here uh, delete pre delete previous fs data custom file. Open. Um, we have to go to this folder containing fs folder and uh, make fs data pl, and perform the following command. Uh, Perl make uh, um, space make fs data pl. So new fs custom data uh, c generated. We copy these two files. I explained it all in, and co paste them in here in our HTTP folder of our project here. I explained it in part two video. Uh, then we go here. We include uh, standard uh, stdbool.h uh, uh, library to just to declare two variables. Uh, ld on false and um, ld2 on false. I, the, the, there are um, explanations here in comments and I will include call, uh, the code into the article. And then I also mark, uh, 
what what is needed for the SSI uh, like this SSI no, number one we declare my SSI handler uh, define uh, number uh, of SSI tags two two tags tag one and tag two in in our index HTML file so th this you will see what is code is needed for the SSI then goes um, here to fun uh, function um, uh, the, the most important function um, uh, first of all uh, in, in initialization uh, my CGI in it and then the most important function my SSI handler what is happening here is that when the LED light is off uh, LED light is off in this LED CGI handler these both variables are false when it's on LED line a light um, LD3 uh, red light on LD on uh, true and here we s replace the SSI text in the, our indexes SCMA file either with this um, characters or with uh, this which contain the word checked and the same here either not checked or checked depending if the light is switched on or switched off and uh, this function also SSI number uh, 4 and um, this is the um, SSI ah, this was my CGI initialization here SSI init my SSI init and also we in, um, finally we initializing SSI SSI uh, uh, number 6 so you will see it, uh, everything um, in on the in the article you will be able to see this code after this we build the project and uh, uh, and uh, it will be it, uh, it project build zero error zero warning run debug s stm Here it is. As I showed uh, already in the beginning of the video, it works fine. So the program works correctly. We can switch on and off the LED light on the board and see on our HTML page if it is switched on or switched off. Instead of inbuilt LEDs, we can easily connect the relays to the GPO pins on the of the board and switch on and off the big lights in the rooms via the internet or open or close electronic locks, run electric motors, servers, etc. I am not sure if it is necessary to record an additional video on how on video on how to do this. I mean how to connect the relays to the board to switch the big lights in the room on and off via the internet. Let me know via the comments section if such a video is necessary. If you have any difficulty running the web server with the CGI and SSI on this microcontroller. Let me know too. Thank you for, for your attention and goodbye.